Hi everybody, that's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. The way I'm sitting. I need to sit like I'm a 42-year-old woman and not like I'm an (laughs) 8-year-old. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> yeah, when you say crisscross applesauce, it's, it's... I sit like half crisscross applesauce. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then my leg goes numb and I'm like committed to the position because <laughs> my leg is numb and I can't move it. Yeah. And I also can't get up. <laughs> so that's just... Where, yeah, and then we're just stuck here for 20 are. minutes. Yeah, yep, that's where we are. Yep. Yep. It's just what's happening. Hi, little ghosties. Hi. This is round two. I know. Dash, uh, Again. forgot to post a record. Again. Again. <laughs> yeah yeah sorry about that we're playing a game called anomia by everest toys and it is a mensa select game so it's a, it's a game for smart people yeah if mensa I is hope to be we believed. can play it uh i think we should be okay i think i uh, think we'll be okay <laughs> so the way this works is you normally set up as many piles as there are people in the game and then you draw from all the piles one at a time mm-hmm. until somebody gets a matching symbol and then the first person who can yell out something that pertains to that category wins the card yeah because each card has Mm -hmm. a symbol on it and a category right so when the symbols match you say a thing Mm -hmm. in the category of the last card with the symbol that match and we have a third pile here it's our little ghosty pile our little ghosty pile it's for you you're playing it's for you you're playing this game with us so i think judging by the the one that we were just playing um without (laughs) recording practice round (laughs) uh i think we can actually just play this the way it was intended to be played um where we draw and if we get a symbol we just try to be the first person who says a category because i i noticed it was tough for us to keep going to well some of them were really simple like one of the ones we drew was last name and it was like we could just go on with that forever you literally say anything it's a last name um, but in all of the What's instances, your last name? last name, right? Last name. It's one word. Last name. Yeah. Um, L A S N A M E. Last name. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's draw. Let's play. Uh, all go right. ahead. So oh, I got a wild card. Allie draws a wild card. So then, uh, if any one of those two symbols come up, that's mm-hmm. what we're doing. Okay. I got citrus fruit. It's a plus card. All right. Boat and um, equal sign. Okay, so uh, uh, a yacht. S- oh, that type of boat. Okay. I don't know. Is it like a brand well, name was, of a boat? I don't know. I was just going to name of bo- a boat. schooner. A oh, yacht. Okay, you win. You got it. You're done. <laughs> a schooner is a sailboat, <laughs> stupid head. <laughs> I was going to like. A classic. Name a boat, like an actual name of a boat. Oh, like Titanic? Yeah, like See Me Going, spelled (laughs) S-E-A. If you had a boat, what would you name it? Oh, there's so many. There's so many good ones. I mean, it depends because it has to fit me personally, but also it has to be a ship pun. Right. Right? Uh, One of the best ones I ever saw was called Cirrhosis of the River. That's funny. That's a good one. Yeah, I've seen so many good ones. Yours should be like dashing weekend plans or something. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to think. Oh of my some god! Other you know, ones. it would be a very funny boat name. Hmm. Second wife. <laughs> if I have a boat, I'm calling it second wife. Yeah. Dibs. I think I saw one called divorce Dibs. settlement once. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boats are very bad investments. They I'm never are. gonna have one because they're very bad investments. Yes. But um Well, they say that the uh the best day in a but boat. Second owner's wife life, is a is the day they sell yes. the boat. Um the best second wife is a very funny boat right. name. Yeah, best day is the day you buy a boat, and the second best day is the day you sell it. Yeah. <laughs> or no, the two best days in a boat owner's life are the day he buys it and the day he sells it. Or she or they or they or they. they. Yeah. Uh we have a diamond vegetable. A Double wave mythological creature. Did you get your boat card? Oh, I didn't. Thank you. And then aircraft Aircraft, with an asterisk. Match set. Bicycle brands with a zero. Ocean. Nope. Four dots. Go ahead. You turn that one. That one. Diamond flower. Your pile. Oh yeah, my pile. We're going through. We're going through. Uh, Hashtag painter. Hashtag fashion model. Tyra Banks. Okay. Yes, you got it. Can we go back and forth on fashion models? Fashion models? I don't know. Do you know I, any fashion I don't models? know any fashion. Uh, to 
to uh, Cindy Crawford. Uh, yes. <laughs> Good. Look how far back I had to reach to find the name of a fashion model. Okay, but also I watched every season available for streaming of America's Next sure. Top Waddle model. <laughs> I said America's Next Top Waddle. Whoops. Whoops. That is the modeling show for birds. <laughs> America's Next Top uh -huh. Waddle. Um I watched every season yeah. over the pandemic. So you have a little bit of an advantage on me when it comes to fashion models, I'd I say. I mean, yeah, ish. Um, <laughs> also, you want to know a fun fact about mm -hmm. a current fashion model? Please. Kate Moss's daughter. So Kate Moss, remember she was like, I remember Kate Moss, skinny. yeah. Yeah. Her daughter is a model mm -hmm. and her daughter is a type one diabetic. <gasps> wow. And she recently, mm -hmm. and by recently, I mean like within the past year, wore her Omnipod um, at a fashion show and everyone in the diabetes community was like, yes, we love it. It was really That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, it was Did she great. like decorated it all to no. match her outfit? No, no. Mm -mm. just wore well, it out. Usually in a fashion show, you wear like more than one outfit. Okay. Fair. Yeah. yeah. So she would have had to like, <sighs> sorry. And I'm sorry about that microphone. And she, <laughs> you know, was probably like getting in and out of stuff mm -hmm. really quickly. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, she wore her Omnipod on the runway. Very you can cool. Google a picture, everybody. It's pretty cool. What was your name? Kate Moss's daughter. <laughs> Kate Moss Jr. <laughs> Katie Moss. Uh, Katie oh, Lichen. Uh, uh, cartoon character Bugs Bunny. I, I just did a really funny pun and you didn't even pay attention. No, because I was trying to win a card. But I called her Katie Lichen. Katie Lichen? Instead of a moss, it's a lichen. Oh, I'm very got funny. It. Got it. Yes, you are. You're hilarious. All okay, right. so what that was what? Cartoon character? Cartoon characters. No, I'm next. Okay. S no, I'm next. All right, fine. Well, we did that one already, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Superhero plus sign. Superhero plus sign. Okay, so I actually have a question. Yes. Okay, so if I flip this over and yes. it's last name with... Painters. Tic-tac-toe. Uh-huh. We already did this one, technically, because that's how I got my card. So is right. this now dead? Is this a new pile? Or is this still a match? The... Yeah, this is still a match, but well, you should have taken that one if you got that no, one. No, I didn't. I took are you fashion sure, model. Are you sure this wasn't from the last time? I took fashion model. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Okay. So yes. That well, no, this should not be it's not covered yet. Okay. So we're so last name. Last name. Garcia. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> you distracted me I by did. asking me I rules. Did. I did. I put of a glamour game. on you. I put a glamour on you. <laughs> Pop songs. Ooh, wild, uh, card. wild card. So double wavies or a plus sign? Yeah, Let's see. double wavies or a plus sign. Equal sign. Extinct species. Ooh, that's a cool one. Yeah. It's just all dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, playwrights. William Shakespeare. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, Edgar Rice Burroughs. No. Uh, was Edgar Rice Burroughs a playwright? I don't know. Okay. It was a writer. Yeah. Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams. There we go. Um, Stella. Stella. Clowns. Me. Bozo. <laughs> John Wayne Gacy. I was going to say, can I say John Wayne Gacy? Is that... <laughs> His clown name was Pogo, actually. Pogo. Pogo the clown, yeah. Oh, horrifying. Have you ever seen his clown makeup? I have. It's and I know the whole psychology behind it, too. the stuff of nightmares. Mm -hmm. So clowns are usually... There was like this whole theory about his face paint yeah yeah because clowns are usually supposed to usually round out their makeup so yeah, like yeah. Round, round eyes, eyes a round yep. mouth whatever uh the round nose it's, very it's, it's soft exaggerating right. Mm -hmm. right the round mouth exaggerates if you smile and if right. you frown it it goes it goes both ways yeah. but his were always sharp edged and pointy which was indicative of his warp and twisted mind of the fact that he's a literal nightmare of a human <sighs> being yeah Oh. Okay. All right. Well. Go ahead. <laughs> just a fun little side convo yeah. about a serial killer. He's the reason why people don't like clowns. Punctuation mark. It's Yay, us. Yay, it's us. Our improv, our duo. improv duo. Punctuation marks improv .com. Uh Radio station. Oh, wow. Dairy products. Dairy products. It's your turn. My turn? Yep. Ooh, uh, TV, TV show. show. That's Circle. a good one. Okay. Uh, martial art Karate. kung fu. That Judo. was a tie. Okay, that, that so, was a tie. You so can you, have it. You, you can have I it. I can have it. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, let's do that one. Go ahead. Yeah, mine. Okay. Restaurant. Restaurant. Jazz musician. Jazz musician. 
Card game. Card game. Oh. What if we just said this one? <laughs> uh, reptile. reptile. Shampoo brand Suave. Mm, yes. You were going to say Suave too? I was going to say head and shoulders, but for some reason I started with Suave. <laughs> Which is not how head I know. and shoulders I know. starts. I know. You got to go with a one name brands. Head and shoulders is too many Listen, words. Trying to even think of a brand is difficult. <laughs> Yeah, this game do- isn't giving me the like mm-hmm. panic. T with a with an asterisk. Yeah, this is a baseball team. The Yankees. Yankees. I knew you were gonna say the Yankees. <laughs> I knew it. Name Los, another one. Los Junkies. The <laughs> Orioles. Okay, that's a good one. The the Oakland Mets. A's. The Detroit Tigers. The Seattle Mariners. The Chicago socks of two different colors. The no, they they have the white socks Astros. and the Boston Red Sox. Yes. Houston Astros. Mm-hmm. The Tampa Bay Rays. Yes, that's right. The, the, Mi- the Miami Anaheim Marlins. Angels, the Miami Marlins. That's a thing. We should yeah, have just said Miami Marlins a long time ago. <laughs> All right, let's call it a tie. You grab one, I'll grab one. Okay. <laughs> All right. I knew you were going to say Yankees. Oh, yeah, it's the first one that comes to mind. Oh, uh, uh, the Smithsonian. Okay, it was uh, a plus sign and then museum. Plus sign with museum. And it matched with reptile. So yes. Dash said uh, Smithsonian. Smithsonian. Which one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cheese. Gruyere. Oh, yeah, you got that one. Uh, color. Um, I'll flip here. Mystery, Mystery novelist. novelist. Book. Book. Bagel, bagel flavor. flavor. Everything. I was going to say, can you just make up a bagel flavor? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Garlic, Are there like ice cream flavors seed. at this point where you're just like, uh. Yeah, there's like an ice cream flavor called <laughs> Superman. Like, right. I think at this point it's just cheating. Right. No, the ice cream flavor Superman is just, it's just the colors. Yeah, is right. The, it's just red, thing. yellow, and blue. Politician. Uh, Macron. Who? Justin Trudeau. <laughs> is he a politician? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he is. He's a Canadian politician, yeah. Macron. He's the, the French guy. Okay. Go ahead. Joe Biden. You can have that one. Um, Diane Feinstein. May she rest uh, in peace. R.I.P. Uh, news website. Video game. Acronym. Ooh, that's a hard one. Yeah, Please don't is. match with that. Turn one dash. Pars- Parasite? Parasite? Famous ghost. Ooh, um, Casper. Oh. Yeah. That was good. Is there another one? <laughs> I'm no, I'm I'm like there. Yeah. There oh, I mean has there has to, to be. be. Right. Like every horror movie has a ghost. Uh what are the famous ghosts? I don't know what their names are though. Oh, nearly headless s- Nick. Nearly headless. Nearly headless. How can you be nearly headless? <laughs> like this. <laughs> I uh Yeah, right. You, all of you, our little ghosties are famous ghosts. You're famous to us. <laughs> yeah. Um who else is a famous ghost? No, there has to be. There, there has, has to be. be famous ghosts somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, I think okay, so there are places that are like haunted, right? Right. Oh, what's the name of the little doll child? Is it like Sam or something? Annabelle? Well, Annabelle Chucky? was from the movie. Annabelle was from the movie, but the um like the quote unquote actual haunted doll has a name. Oh, it was a Raggedy Ann doll, but her name wasn't. Right, yeah, her name was Raggedy, Raggedy Ann. Ann. It was a no, but it was the boy. It was Raggedy Andy. Oh. It was a raggedy is Black, doll. Is like Blackbeard a famous ghost? No, that's a he pirate. A pirate. Yeah. But isn't he a pirate ghost? Why can't he be a pirate, a pirate ghost? ghost? Wow. Yeah, Casper. He's yeah. really that. He's, he's it. The, he's the number one. He's it. Okay. Beach. Mountain. Lake. lake. Oh, it's a theme. Uh-huh. A vacation theme. Yeah. Ooh, salad dressing. Ranch. Thousand Island. Oh, ranch. Got it. You got it. You got it faster. You got it faster. It's okay. You are saying the two name <laughs> things. Just say the one word. Two letter word. <laughs> now you flip. Uh, yep. Composer. Composer. I just went to a concert last night. How'd that go? Night. It was good. Yeah. Emotion. Anger. Yes. Mine was emotion. It's taking me longer to read it than it is to come up with an answer. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm fascinated by the fact that you're like, you read the word. Uh-huh. And I read it to myself and then say it. Right. Yeah. Well, because yeah. we're on a podcast. I can't just 
read it in right, my head. Right, and that's why I'm winning. It's not entertaining that's to our little I'm ghosties. Winning this game. A noun, the Publix. <laughs> yes, Publix is a noun. Yes, very yes, it is. good. Thank you, Miss Garcia. <laughs> very good. Uh, fairy tale character. Oh, uh, Snow White. Wait, but does this? Match oh no! Now, wait, yeah, these cancel out. No, 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 these cancel out. These cancel. That's that's sort of my question, right? Is right. like if one is removed, now these technically are right. They're a match, matching, even though I took that. But one, right. there was another card on top of it, so yeah. I, I'm not sure what the rules are. Well, I think that's why. Remember when I was like, take this top card? I think that's why you take that top card because then you're no longer revealing a new one. Oh. I mean, whatever. We can make up the Yeah, rules. we're making up our own rules. Okay. Folks, if you get this game, Anomia, which I got on Timu, you can play this game however you want. <laughs> yeah. Read the rules and mm -hmm. then do what you feel like yeah. doing. Did I mention, I don't know if I mentioned it now or when we thought we were recording earlier, um, this game was suggested to me by my brother. So he was you like, mentioned it, but like, I don't know if it was in the <laughs> the first five minutes yeah. that we did a practice recording. Sure. I just want to make sure that I'm giving credit where credit yeah, is yeah, due. Yeah. He was like working and a bunch of people there were playing this game. And he's like, he suggested it to me. He was like, you need to play this game. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. It would be fun in a big group of people. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do a few more. Okay. Um, so you just did fairy tale uh -huh, character. Yeah. It's not a match because, not a match because that I was, was covered up yeah. and we decided that. Okay, so traffic sign. Pizza topping. Pizza topping. Animal sound. <laughs> Candy bar. Ooh, that one. Insect. Uh, praying mantis. Oh, shoot. I didn't even notice they matched. Yes. You're right. Praying mantis. See, it's hard when you're the one flipping. To like, I was not even paying attention. I like literally <laughs> flipped it and looked away. Like yeah, let's cover this one. I flipped it and just fully oh, looked away. We have a wild card. And okay. And detective Sam Spade. Oh shoot! Yep. Yeah. Piro. Sam Spade from the Maltese Falcon. I can only think of Piro. Is he and yeah. Sherlock yeah. Holmes? And who's the one from Hercule Piro? What's the one from? Glass, glass onion, onion slash um, knives out. Oh no, I should know this. I Played love by Daniel those Craig. <sighs> we were talking about his accent today because we were watching something that took place in Louisiana. Uh -huh. And I think that's where his accent yeah. is from. And it's like such a good little, it's like a little kind of slower, but not <laughs> quite foghorn leghorn. Right, yeah. And not quite southern. But it sounds like a lot of things are questions <laughs> when they might not be, in fact, questions. Although he is a detective, so they may, they may genuinely be, be questions. questions. <laughs> Man, it's a, I'm, I'm going to learn it. Yeah. Right. I'm going to learn that accent. Dialect. Lunch, lunch meat. Ew. Lunch oh, meat. Oh, a wild card. Um, Snickers. Oh, yeah, you got it. So the wild card revealed the candy bar that we yes. had previously played. Yes. Go ahead. Astronaut. Oh, uh, can you use the wild card again? Uh, I guess not. Let's, yeah, let's not. No. Fuel. Oh, uh, gasoline. Uh, ga yes. Is gasoline a fuel? I guess it is. Carbohydrates. <laughs> Electrolytes. <laughs> I know because, like, they hate, like, coal. Like, you put fuel in a jet engine, you don't put gasoline in a jet engine. So, is gasoline a fuel? Is fuel a type of gasoline? I'm, we're talking about these are the hard questions yeah no yeah. i think it's any any fuel it has to be a broad right so fuel is the broad term yeah so fuel then what is, is being what is jet fuel it's jet fuel okay it's just a or chemical gasoline or carbohydrates or all right you get that intrinsic motivation <laughs> rock opera we already used astronauts so uh -huh, okay uh clothing hashtag Oh, wild, wild card with card. asterisk or circle. C with C. wavy lines. Island with an equal sign. Fictional robot. Um, Bender. Oh, Bender. From Futurama. Okay. R2-D2. C-3PO. Number five. Three, three quarters of Darth Vader. Number five yeah. is alive. Data. Data. Data's technically Data's a, a robot. fictional He's robot. An Android, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh. Should we call it quits now? Yeah, my pile looks bigger, so I feel good about that. <laughs> And then right. we count. Let's Steven count our wins. cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, yeah, you won. <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, you did. Alicia wins this game of Anomia. You never call me that. I know. Sorry. That was weird. I know. And it made me feel weird. Uh, by Everest Toys. Let's uh, let's rate these, shall we? I. I like the box. Okay. It's got a, a snug fit, mm -hmm. which I like in a box. Yeah. It might be one of those ones where you can like put the lid on and push it down a certain way and it makes it, that little heart like, noise. Yeah, it goes like. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm going to give it a whoopee cushion. Okay. I'm going to give it uh, one of those powder things that moms used to have that it's just like a, it's like a little round box with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They fit one on top of the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the powder puff in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot what it was called, but I, uh, yeah, it's that's, powder. That's like, a core powder. memory from my childhood. Same. Uh, I, have a, I, I grew up with an abuela. I know what you're <laughs> you talking know what about. I'm talking about. I got yeah. you. And the violetas. Remember the violetas? Oh yes. <laughs> it every time I smell it, uh -huh. I just have to stop and be like, something's happening. <laughs> like <laughs> it's yeah, a full panic. No scenario. bath from your childhood is, right. is done without. Violetas. Oh, I had a giant bottle of it mm -hmm. i'm talking giant i don't even know what happened to it i wish i knew because the bottle itself was actually quite lovely mm. um a giant bottle of it and i never used it ever <laughs> it was just, it was just in nice my room right for a decade mm -hmm. you never use it just every now and again you like to just open it up and yeah just childhood. open it give yeah. it a little sniffy sniff uh -huh. yeah yeah anyway uh cards, does cards are everybody. just regular playing cards those are those are fine. They're I just... like the design on them. I like that there's like a lot of different symbols and colors and uh -huh. stuff. Um, they're pretty simple. I like that you can see the word on both sides. Yeah. Right. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I like that. Um, I like that it's symbol based. That's pretty cool. Oh, you know what I'm going to give this? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to give this those cards that Bill Murray was using at the beginning of Ghostbusters. Oh yeah. When he was trying, <laughs> he was, he was the, doing a scientific test on right, right. the negative effects of shock therapy right. on <laughs> ESP. On getting people to guess the uh -huh. card. Yeah, it's it's those cards. I love you those got movies. it. Yeah. You got it. Uh how fun was it? I could see how I mean I had a good time, yeah. but I always have a good time on this podcast. That's sure. why we do it. Mm -hmm. But um, I could see how it'd be really fun the more people that you added. Agreed. Which I always like in a game because mm -hmm. sometimes like it's hard to get a bunch of people right. to all agree on a thing. And if you see people having fun playing the game and more people can just really easily join yeah. in, all the better. It's sort of a take on the game of war. Remember that game? Yeah. 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 But yeah, war is just luck as opposed right. to this where you actually do need to have some skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm going to call, I'm going to call a oh, level of fun is probably, um, level of fun is calling your bestie on a corded phone and talking <laughs> for at least an hour and a half. That's the level of fun. I think you're being swayed by all the nostalgic memories. Yes, you got. I am. And it, if it's a hamburger phone, even better. <laughs> I always wanted the football phone. From yeah, like I always wanted a, like a just I just didn't even care what it was. Like right. hamburger phone, yeah. lips, just a fun banana. Phone. Yeah. Some fun phone in my room. Uh-huh. Yeah. I never got one. Yeah. Uh and playability? Playability pretty easy. Yeah, it's very um, easy. Um I do like when a game makes me have like a second of panic before yes. I Yeah. I can think of something which I did not get with this game. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to say it's like, it's like jump rope. Okay. Yeah. All right. Takes a little bit of skill, but. Yeah. But you still fudge up yeah. a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you get it as you go. Right. Right. The, the more you play it, the better you are. Right. And then when you go on a really good run, you're like, man, I am really doing this. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'm All right. Give it jump rope. So, so once again, that was Anomia or Anomia, depending on where you put the accent. <laughs> On which syllable on you which put syllable. the accent. <laughs> By Everest Toys. Check out anomiapress.com. And it's a it's a Mensa select game. Again, I got this game on Timu, but you can probably get it on Amazon or wherever you 
buy games. All right. That was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And we'll catch you next time, little ghosties. Bye. Bye. I never, I feel like I never look at the camera. Not during the show. Not during the show. I always just. But at the end, you. you always go. Bye. Yeah. I'm always just like looking at you with the game. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's how I'm so aggressive. That's how TV works, yeah. Yeah. Unless you're talking to the ghosties and then you look at the camera. Like Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos, access our episode library, find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy, and contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And find Finally, if life's a circus, we're, we're the, the clowns. clowns. Now we're recording. This Are you is warmed up. You feeling warmed up? Yeah, now? this has never happened to That's me. And what now, she said. now it's happened twice in That's two weeks. What she said. Uh, I want to say. Right. It's, I want to say it's my age. Things. <laughs> things happen. Okay, uh, we work with it. I turned 40 and that's it. It's all gone. It's all over. <laughs> it's just, it's a new reality. Oh, so sorry.